Negative keywords are an integral part of search campaign performance. They help you make sure that you're not showing your ads to people who aren't the right fit because they're searching for things that don't make sense for you. There are lots of different layers within a Google ads account where you can apply negative keywords, but one of the newer ones is account level negatives. And these actually have an impact outside of just search campaigns. So in this video, I want to run you through what account level negatives are, where they live and talk about how you can use them in your account. To start off, I just want to give a quick overview of negative keywords before we get into anything else. You can see up here that negative keywords let you exclude search terms from your campaigns and help you focus on only the keywords that matter to your customers. So basically, we're using these negative keywords to prevent our ads from showing on queries that are not relevant to our business or likely aren't going to generate the types of profits that we want. So there's a lot that you need to know about keywords in general. We have another video that you can check out at the top of the screen right now that'll walk you through the basics. But it's important to know that any of the account level negative keywords are going to operate the same as any other keyword in the account. The only thing that's different is where it lives and what all it applies to. Google does give an example here that I might refer back to later on, so I want to call it out. If you are an optometrist and you sell eyeglasses, you probably want to exclude keywords like wine glasses or drinking glasses. The word glasses is still applicable, but the fact that it has the modifier of glasses for either wine or drinking are quite a bit different than eyeglasses. So these are going to be relevant negative keywords. With that preface out of the way, let's hop into a Google Ads account. Rather than navigating to an individual campaign or an ad group where other types of negative keywords live, we need to hit the account level settings for account level negatives. So I'm going to come over here to the settings tab and click account. Pretty easy. There's an entire section for account level negative keywords here. You can see that we don't have any applied, but to create them is going to be the same as it would be for any other type of negative keyword at any other level in the account. So the first thing we just need to click the blue plus. And then you can add in up to 1000 negative keywords at the account level. So again, there's a maximum of 1000, but you can add in any numbers that you want. So here I've added in a couple of examples, either from my past experience or from the example that Google gave. Free is kind of a no brainer because we're almost never trying to give anything away for free. And then continuing the optometrist example, they're never going to be selling wine glasses or drinking glasses. So you likely want to use those types of terms as negative keywords. Now you'll remember the example that Google gave had the term wine glasses and drinking glasses, but based on how the match types work with negative keywords, we really just need the words wine and drinking added as an account level negative keyword. If you're not sure why that's the case and need to get a little bit more information on negative keywords, I'm going to direct you to the video that I mentioned earlier in this video because it gives a little bit better overview of the match types and all that good stuff. And with that, we just need to click save and now they are applied to the account. Most of this is going to feel very similar because if you want to change the match type, you can do that through the different drop down here, or you could do it with the symbolism while you were creating the list. And if at any point you wanted to get rid of some of these terms, all you would need to do is check the box next to the ones you want to remove and click remove. It'll make sure that you really want to do that. Click remove again. And now it's gone. And we only have two keywords set at the account level. Now, one thing I want to make mention of, it's going to be the note that we have here, negative keywords at the account level apply to only search, shopping, and performance max campaigns. So the first thing to note here is that this is one of the few ways that you can add negative keywords to performance max campaigns as of the recording of this video. Hopefully they're going to be rolling them out a little bit more, but in the past we have had no control over adding negative keywords to performance max campaigns. So if you need to start excluding terms, this is going to be the best way to do it for the time being. But I also want to call out that it only applies to search, shopping, and performance max campaigns. If you wanted to add negative keywords to any of your YouTube or display campaigns, that's going to live in a different section. That is going to be up in tools and settings, content suitability. Then we'll scroll down a little bit. We'll click on excluded content keywords, which you can see we have a couple in the account already. And this is where you would add those for YouTube or display network keywords. If you want to learn more about content suitability controls on Google ads, Joe already put together a video that you can check out at the top of the screen right now. But again, account level negative keywords only apply to search, shopping, and performance max campaigns. Display and YouTube campaigns are going to be controlled through content suitability. 
Now that we know how negative keywords at the account level work and what they apply to, I want to give some suggestions for when you might want to use them and when you might not want to use them. The best ways to use account level negative keywords are to prevent your ads from showing on searches that will never apply to your business. The example that Google gave for the optometrist is a great example, which is why I continued to use it here. So if anything is the wrong product or the wrong service, that's a pretty easy no brainer to add to the account. That'll really never apply and you don't want to be showing up for that. I recently remodeled one of my bathrooms and there are some tile shops out there that only sell tile. They don't install it, they don't repair it, they don't do anything else other than sell it. So for those companies, it might make sense for them to exclude terms like repairs or installation or contractor because you're really just trying to sell tile, not help people have it installed or fixed in their account. Another instance might be a wrong location. Google's location settings for your campaigns do take into account your physical location as well as intent. Those settings are changing just a little bit. So if you're interested in what those location settings are, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But in a handful of accounts that we run, there are lots of terms that come through with specific location intent attached to them. And it's very easy for us to say, we only support businesses in this specific state. So we can easily add all of the other states as negative keywords at the account level because we don't do business there. That's a very easy no brainer. And then I always add the option of free because you never know who's going to try and get something for free or maybe a sample, something like that. But that only applies if you never give out free samples and you never do anything for free. If you do occasionally do that, that brings us closer into the realm of when not to use account level negatives. And you would not use these for terms that apply in some instances, but not others in your account. Some people want to use account level negative keywords to exclude brand searches from performance max campaigns, but then they also have a brand campaign in the same account, which that account level negative keyword would effectively shut off. The same thing can be true for competitors. While you are not your competitor and you might not want people searching for their terms showing up in all of your campaigns, you also might have a competitor dedicated campaign. And for that one to serve, you should not use account level negatives. Effectively, any instance where you are query mapping terms, trying to make sure that certain keywords show up in certain campaigns or ad groups and not others, account level negative keywords are not going to be the right tool for you to do that. That's where you're going to want to use negative keyword lists or campaign and ad group level negative keywords. While they might not be the most robust and powerful tool in the Google ads platform, I think that account level negative keywords can be a real benefit to help you exclude terms that are categorically a bad fit for your campaigns. We no longer have to worry about trying to duplicate negative keywords across ad groups, campaigns, even negative keyword lists, and making sure those lists are applied to the specific campaigns. All we have to do is add them once at the account level and we're done. It could not be more simple. Just keep in mind that you do have a 1000 negative keyword maximum on the account level negative keywords. So be sure you're utilizing any of your match types and negative keyword strategies to not go over that amount. But otherwise, I hope you have a good time not having to manually carry over negative keywords to all of the different campaigns in the account. If you have any other questions about account level negative keywords or negative keyword strategy or implementation in general, please feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.